Hey guys, cool bond way back. I'm Rick. Eric. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. We're back with Freerin, where we celebrated Fern's birthday last time, I believe. Freerin? Fern. Fern's. Oh. Fern's birthday. Yeah. She got a, a special I flower. I she was mad because we didn't celebrate. Of love. Mm. Somebody celebrated it. It was a bracelet. The mirrored lotus. Mm-hmm. And, and the ring of Freerin from Himmel. Yep. And she's keeping it now. And we fought a flying yeah. monster. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fought. Well, Flying monsters are good at hiding their mana. Oh my god. They do yeah. That. Come back. Grab the wagon. Ambush. Gotta get that mana. Not really ambush. That was an uh, interesting. Uh, like the first half was good. I liked it. It was fun. The second half, though, I thought was cool because of Stark and having that mirror of his family, his growing up. Mm -hmm. And like in a way, he was playing the older brother for a moment, too. And then seeing himself in that other little kid, it was just an interesting little like yeah, I mean, mirror dynamic of his past and stuff as well. Both mirrored like the flower. Mm -hmm. yeah, both of those men were able to somehow get some type of, like a little bit of closure. Yeah. Right? To each other. That was really cool. Sure, he's holding like the that. promise he had for the yeah. son while he gets a chance to kind of see himself in the role that his older brother was in. Yeah. Like, he he used to be that little kid who was like, <laughs> he's not as good as his brother was, and that's how he always felt. But here is like, you are a strong warrior, you're you're at that point now. Yeah. And he mm -hmm. kind of gets to mirror it off this guy, who's not his father, but has got a little bit of a father role there yeah. for a moment. Sure. At least he has to pretend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and even them having their discussion there, is like, I can't replace your son. It's like, I can't replace your father. Like, we both understand that. But in this moment here, like, we kind of had a little bit. Yeah. I wonder what the king's next play is. Is he like, yeah, he was dead all along? Or does he like mysteriously maybe, die in his sleep tonight? No, or? maybe he like, well, he's going to go out on a patrol with all the trusted soldiers that know that he's dead, and then something's going to happen on patrol or whatever. Yeah. Could so be. that it's an explanation to the people. But, but I feel like you would want to. Dusted. Like he died on killing that demon, yeah. right? Like, that sure. wasn't his son's wishes, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's that thing where like they're like, they they lost a lot of men. They need the morale, so we can't say that we have weakened too much. And losing him, who I assume would have been like the leader at that point for like the military, because he said like the two commanders killed each other, kind of thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Which would have been the father had it not been for his injury, I guess. So yeah, he would have been he, in the vanguard. What, what was his son's wishes? Uh, well, I mean, they didn't say exactly. Yeah. I don't think. He's like I'm honoring but, my son's wishes, like. If I die, replace me with someone for a couple months. Well, he like, said he already had a backup. Yeah. So, so I imagine the son was like, you know, if I die, there will be a power vacuum. Okay. And people might take over. Do whatever so, we well, can. Well, yeah, he probably told him like, hey, I know I'm going to die. Don't let the spirits of the people falter, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep me alive in their eyes okay. for as long as you can while we rebuild our strength. Because he was there at the battle. He knew how bad shape they were. Okay. But they didn't say exactly what it was, but yeah. whatever the wish but was, they, that yeah. they, it was enough that they inferred. This is what I must do to. Do yeah. it. I don't think he was like, make someone play me and lie to everyone. Also, you know, like, soiree I in like two years, <laughs> and I need someone to dance with someone that looks like me. <laughs> but I think be, that's a fun thing. Like, if depends on the story you have. Like, I think it works well for Stark. Yeah. Like in a D and D setting, depending on what your character, like what this player character's sure. background is and what they went through. This is a neat way to kind of have some of that kind of mirrored mm. with it and stuff yeah. too. So this is it's a an winter role playing. Yeah, this is a winter adventure in Pendragon. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Is. <laughs> I don't get what that means exactly. Oh, but, okay. Pendragon is so good. It's so good. It seems like it's like it's cold outside, so we're gonna have a dance. <laughs> and what are you guys doing? Yeah. It's like, well, I'm already my my son died, so I gotta get some big guy to be him. <laughs> it's. Any role-playing situation will always be easier. Even if it's impossible, it will always be easier than being near water. <laughs> no, I, I kind of, like, was waiting for, like, the deception to come in. Like, oh, actually, this is what's happening. But I think that is more likely to happen in a full episode as opposed to half an episode. Mm, you know? I get what you mean. But the first half, I like, also quite like the flower monster. If it was a f full episode with like a part two or something like that, like we had with the demons. Yeah, sure. Like something where there's deception and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, sometimes when you're presented with 
your quests, you don't know the full story. But it seems that they have the full story. Like, here's the plan. They executed the plan. They continued. But it was the actual... Uh, con not conflict, but the actual change was within the characters themselves, not yeah. what mm-hmm. was happening. So yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, kind of the opposite from the first half, but yeah. Well, both of these felt like small, like one shot yeah. kind of stories of like you come into a village and everyone's asleep, and you're like, oh, so now yeah. you're unraveling a mystery. But also, uh, maybe every once in a while the DM's like, uh, everyone roll a Constitution yeah. saving throw. <laughs> All yeah. right, good. Continue. All right, you're asleep. <laughs> yeah, and eventually it's like, oh, Calvin failed. It's like, all right, uh, you know. Yeah, sure. Old Drake like, is asleep. Or like every no, hour like... that you spend inside the zone, the check increases by one or something yeah. like that. Yeah, exactly. Or oh, the closer you get to the creature, mm-hmm. and then you find that, you know, uh, Zion has like a resistance or immunity or something mm-hmm. along those lines. So he's not going to have that, but he has an awakening spell. Like, it was, it was cool to have it where it's like he has to push. Or something. And he, he thinks about his mentor type of character telling him stories of free yeah. and it, it reflects to like trust her words it's like well, she didn't look like she was ready for anything yeah <laughs> you know and that's the thing with free run is free run just kind of like <laughs> all right we're gonna kill the dragon now <laughs> you know? I, I, I like that with Hyter talking about it mm-hmm. so I feel like Fern sometimes it's like people can't read my face always mm-hmm. sure just yeah listen to my words I loved uh, I love the choice to make Furin already starting her attack before you see her you know like when they kind of like you got five seconds you would think that you you could be like huh oh and then show the five seconds that she does it but instead you turn and she's already doing it in the first second mm-hmm. yeah you know that's how ready she was and how yeah. much you need to trust well, she, what she says like, i'm gonna fall asleep wake me up wake me up when the creature's yeah. here so when she wakes up she creature's here you yeah. know like that needs to be the yeah. first thought she, she had. was probably sleeping like Sinku was <laughs> in dr stone <laughs> one two three just ready you know yeah yeah <clears throat> But yeah, he didn't. He didn't even need to say like yeah. reflective flower. No, I know it was know? just, just he, she, he just turned and she was already fire like summoning the glyph and firing it before he realized what was happening. I loved it. And just in case something did go wrong, if it would have reflected, it would went back into the sky. Yeah, because yeah. she shot it up and around. And around, yeah. Yep. I like that he had that worry too. Like so much. It's it's funny because so much was going on through his mind, and he's moving, trying to dodge everything, and then he wakes her up, and she's just like, pow. <laughs> He's like, man, alright. And then he got thanked by a nice older lady. Mm-hmm. A vixen, or what, what, he, what he, was he calling yeah. We need a vixen on our team. Vixenless! <laughs> it's vital! <laughs> I'm sure it just wasn't shown, but I'm surprised he didn't ask about his brother in the village. Because he's yeah. searching for him, right? Oh, Zion? Yeah. Sure, yeah, I get you, mean. Yeah, like, it's probably Did you see there. another group of adventurers coming through or something? It could have, we could just assume it's in the background and he talked to someone, yeah. but the main focus I think is supposed to be on Stark and his Yeah. Sh- Stark. Stark. He could dance now. Yeah. And use swords. He dance if he wants to. Do you think that that was meant to be like he took some you gained proficiency in longsword? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> is that what that's supposed to be? Sure. There? <laughs> like if if my adventurers <laughs> spent three months role playing all of this stuff, it's like they each get like a plus two to their charisma attribute. And they get, like, one skill. Yeah. I feel like it'd be, like... Proficiency in a skill. I'd give it, like, you gain proficiency in long swords, and you gained a plus one in dexterity because you learned to dance. <laughs> you know, like... Because <laughs> you spent... I don't know how long they say the, it was. Three, three, three months. Three months. Yeah. So for three months, he learned etiquette, dancing, and sword training, I would say. You yeah. know? And that dance animation was gorgeous. <clears throat> it was. Mm-hmm. I also like that... Uh, I don't know, I guess, like, Free Run didn't know what else to do, so she's like, oh, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does she's feel, done that before. Yeah. Does, she does have the feeling of, like, her companions are more like pets. Dogs, pets. Dog it's like Chewbacca and Han, yeah. right? It's like, well, yeah. how old does Chewbacca get? Like, he can live a long time. <laughs> yeah. And, and, that's like, like you and can get, here's a human for, like, 80 years, you know? You can get attached to your cat, but mm-hmm. you're probably going to outlive it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Han Solo's just, a, he's like a dog to, to Chewie. Even though Chewie looks more like the dog. All right, that's a fun episode. Uh, I like the talk about curses and how they're more of like a placeholder for the unknown types of magic that as humans just don't understand or people don't understand. It's the opposite of their holy magic. Yeah. Where it's like they don't really understand the holy magic. Yeah. Some people could do it if they got the book. Some people can't. And if you have the blessing of the goddess, you're especially good at it. Right? Yeah. So I wonder if curses come from an evil god. Mm. I, that makes sense. Demons and monsters. Maybe. 
curses from that while the holy is from the, the yeah yeah that yeah. could be kind of cool demonic magic and i like the different uh style it has where you know we've seen fern and freerun casting magic and they have their staff and they're always like casting stuff from it but with sign you had like his yeah he evoked uh, it from a what's the word that they use in like D D where you gotta have like, like a tome you gotta have like a you gotta have a this is what i'm using to kind of implement like, yeah yeah so i just like that he, he has it open he's not even necessarily reading from it i don't think but it's just like what's the smash character yeah. that does that robin robin, uh, does. robin does it v does it double may cry five mm. he does the same sort of thing so i just like the the different look of like it's both like magic but it's like a holy magic and it's yeah. being done different cast differently Awakening, you know, and it's just like glowing. Yeah. From the like I wonder if an alchemist from like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood could have like a uh, alchemical thing mm-hmm. on a page. And they could like flip to it and then use that rather mm. than having to draw it on the ground. I get you. Yeah, just sure. Just have it like pre-made. Just have one ready. Sure. Is that not like, in your Full Metal Alchemist? Uh, books? Like, no. They generally will create the. Glyph. Yeah, they would. They would draw yeah. it. Mustang has that on his head. Uh, Naruto, books, right? Scroll summoning scrolls do that. Um, I don't remember them, but they could have been. Was it? He just used the Mustang's spark gloves. from his silk gloves. He, he does have the marks. He does have glyphs on his back yeah. of his gloves. On the back of his gloves. Mm-hmm. But they didn't have like a like a spell book yeah. with like multiple glyphs that they could. Use. I like what they, you, yeah. They would it's have like, one uh, for what they used, and then yeah. if they needed something else, like if they needed yeah. to fix a building or whatever, they would just draw sure. that. And use that on the ground. But. Yeah, you want like building, building. But I'd imagine there yeah. would be like interference if they were too close to each other. Like you know, if you're activating one, how do you not activate the page below it too? Well, it's not a circle, right? When it's folded, it's a semicircle. So when you open it up, then it's actually. But you just have like scrolls, is what you're saying. And his would be like, what, he's saying like, you do this, you have your circle. Oh, yeah. this, like those things, so you do this. Yeah, you have you your circle right here, <laughs> but as soon as you close it, that glyph is no longer a circle. It's now closed yeah. in on itself, and now you have a new circle. Like a pop-up here. book. So it, it only be, it doesn't so like the first you. page would be useless. Mm. Yeah. It, so it, would be be like, it would be like this. So these two glyphs under here that are pages, <laughs> the pages that are folded over, they aren't a circle, but the one on top is the one that you're like activating. Looks like a booby now. Huh? Guys, thank you so much for watching Free Run with us. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's episode. We'll have a new one here every week as we continue our journeys to Journey's End. Yeah. The end of the Free Run, Journey's End, the journey into Free Run. Um, early access over at blindwave.com. <laughs>